Now hey guys, welcome back to the channel, another Swiss 001 video, and welcome back on board one of the most mm, extreme planes out there, let me just put it this way, the Boeing 737-200, the plane known for being able to fly pretty much anywhere, on any runway, it really doesn't matter. Yeah, this plane is really known as a workhorse, it's still flying around in northern Canada. Because there are a lot of gravel runways up there, here we have a, an actual gravel runway here too. But actually, the 737-200 does not at all mind adding gravel runways, just goes along with it, as you can see. Um, especially here with the actual gravel kit that Boeing also offered back when it offered the 737-200. This gravel kit, which I've also now uh, finally implemented into the flight simulator, is simply this um, tube here beneath both engines. Of course, it's on uh, both sides here. And this tube basically prevents, you know, stones, you know, getting sucked into the aircraft. You know, on a normal aircraft engine that doesn't have such a gravel kit, such a vortex can uh, form, right? That suck things, and mostly air on a normal asphalt runway, into the engines. And this uh, tube just, you know, prevents that. We'll come back to this one, indeed. Yeah, whatever, this plane is really able to fly anywhere, and really at any airport, it really doesn't matter. Because it also has this ladder implemented most of the time here. I mean, look at this, this plane is just absolutely crazy, you can just fly anywhere, it doesn't really matter. And just, you know, like, uh, unload some passengers and then just go off again. Look, look how this thing gets inside of the aircraft. The only other modern planes that can really operate like that, or maybe like the 737s from Ryanair, they are also specially modified, um, so that they also have these stairs here, uh, which are a way to save money, because obviously no jetways, right? But actually though, if we take a bit of a look into the cockpit of the 737-200, we are able to tell this is no 737 Max that has a lot of screens. Actually, this plane does not have any screens at all, with the small exception here of the a T class radar screen. But yeah, this plane is really, really, um, you know, pretty vintage. Let me just say that. I mean, the 737 200 is still part of the uh, original series, the first generation, right? Which literally came out in uh, 1965. Holy moly. And uh, meanwhile, we have recently talked about this uh, the Airbus A380 that was released in 2007 and is not even a thing anymore, it's being retired right now. So yeah, so for over 50 years this plane has been used, let's just um, <clears throat> see if it still works, especially with this gravel kit. It, <laughs> I've recently got those installed here and it's just super exciting, even though it's really just adding those tubes here. Now really, short runways have never really been that much of a problem uh, with the 737s in general. Really, these planes are workhorses also when it comes to short runway performance. Here we go, we're just taking off here, and uh, 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 this has not actually worked, has it? Oh no. Alright, that hasn't particularly worked. Um, why hasn't it worked? We tried turning off everything, the bleed, the packs. <laughs> That'll also, of course, turn off the air conditioning, but I'm not quite sure. This has not at all worked. Yeah, I'm sorry. Okay, let's try this again. This is a little bit ironic now, since I did say that this plane can fly anywhere. Apparently it can't. I'm just hoping that this plane will take off. Come on, just take off, plane. Is this normal? Is this you? This is this is not. Where's your workhorse gone? Seven thirty seven two hundred. All right, this video has turned into something pretty interesting so far. I mean, we can just the stopping performance because that's also important. We have a twelve hundred meter long runway of Le Mole down here again. That's kind of always here on the channel. All right, let's maybe try going slowly. Maybe I'm just having some issues. Maybe we're just a little overweight, which we're not. This is a bit strange. Alright, we're coming in for a bit of a hard landing, I can already see that, alright? Good. Oh damn, that's been a hard landing indeed. No problem for the 737-200. Okay, let's go ahead and slash stop this plane, which shouldn't be that much of an issue at all. Okay. Stopping, stopping actually works somewhat well. That's alright, that's acceptable. But actually here on, uh, according to Google, the minimum landing strip length for the 737-200 is only 3,700 feet, which is, um, 1,100 meters. Which is really not much. That's actually really good. The flight simulator doesn't really seem to agree, though. <laughs> yeah, both runway we tried in this video so far were 
bigger than the minimum runway here, according to Google. All right, then let's maybe try, though, a smaller one. This is Borkham Airport with 900 meters or 940 meters. It doesn't really matter. Too short, officially, of a runway. But I'm kind of confident or something that this will work anyway. I mean, this is, after all, a 737-200. Normally a pretty tough plane. It has a gravel kit. It can fly. We can land it here on s Can we land it on sand? That's, that would be next level. I think we can. I mean, sand is just a little bit finer than gravel, but that's all that is to it. Yeah, come on. This is looking good. Let's try to use most of this 900 meter long runway. Oh, okay. That's been acceptable of a landing. All right, come on. There we go. Full power. Into the brakes, too. And I think this is looking good here. Yeah, with stopping, I guess, this plane doesn't really struggle. We have stopped very, very nicely. I may have actually touched down a little bit before the runway started. Yeah, but this is actually from the... This has worked. This has been a bit of a butter landing, too. This is good. Maybe we should say the 737-200 is not particularly a plane that can take off everywhere, but land... Not everywhere. Land at some interesting places. Let's just put it this way, okay? <laughs> All right, let's try to come in for this landing again now. For the, this is now an 800 meter long runway, which is, you know, quite a bit of a step down, of course. Let's maybe try to really get low on the weight here too. I mean, we're just gonna try our best now. Still a pretty hefty airliner though, of course. Let's maybe try to come in for a landing. See, this is gonna work. Everything is actually ready here. What is really nice to see about the 737-200 is how easy it is to fly and land too. It's just, just a very relaxed plane for sure. Oh no, okay, that's been a bit of a late landing actually, considering the runway circumstances. Let's see if we can stop. Actually, wait, I think this may just work. Okay, good, approved, approved, approved. I present to you now the plane that can land uh, at interesting places indeed here on the planet, the 737-200. Great. So, of course, it is time to try the master of the master of the airports, right? Of course, I'm talking about St. Barthelemy. <laughs> okay, all right. Okay, all right, let's do this. I mean, we do have to say we had a bit of a rough start here with the 737-200. Actually, not that really much of a start at all. We just did kind of crash into a bridge. But this is, uh, has actually turned into a bit of a better plane. Okay, come on. Not make it too hard. Let's not crash into a beach, even though we do have a gravel kit, which should kind of allow it. All right. Oh, okay, that's been too hard. I'm sorry. Oh, no. All right, come on. Just stop. We just need this plane to stop now. Yep, maybe, 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 maybe. Oh, ooh, that has been close. All right, welcome back to landing 001. We have that is <clears throat> some sand here. Okay, that's been an interesting touchdown for sure. Bit of the runway lights we did kind of, okay, never mind. So this is really nice, this plane. Uh, I just really wanted to demonstrate the um, gravel. We didn't even land on the gravel runway in this video, did we? But that's another story. So yeah, guys, thank you so much for watching this video. I'll see you guys tomorrow. As always, good night. Now, thank you to my members here on YouTube, like Block, Emite, Mubarak, Mike, Ethan, Darren, Stefan, Ian, uh, Old Man the Human, Rafael Brokowski, Junk in the Trunk, Moritz, uh, Toby, Great Grandpa John, Government Pasta, Calamity Airlines, Kelly Chaos, New York, uh, Tyler Park, Chista Ritos, Shadow, Anime Planes 001, X Men Show, Laird, The Slama, Futuring, Kellen, Me By You, Captain Cameron, Spiro, uh, Gary, Norwegian, Bajel, and Pyrology.